So for the client-side license key generation, the best and easiest way would be to use cryptographic key signing. So let me show you how this works in Node.js. So what we can do is we can import the crypto module from Node.js. And then we can create a new public and private key pair. So we can say const public key and private key. And we get that by calling crypto generate key pair sync. We want an RSA key and we want to have a key length of 2048 bytes. All right. And this generates a private key and a public key that we can then use. Now, when someone buys your app, what you would do on the server is the server only knows about the private key. This never touches the Electron application. And with this private key, you can generate a signature. So we can say that we create a signature like this, and we generate the signature based on, for example, the customer's email address. Okay. And the key that we use to create this signature will be our private key. So now we would have a signed string. So let's take a look at this string. So we can say signature to string and then uh, base 64, for example. And then we get this string right here. So this could be your license key. Now, okay, I know this might not look like the license keys you are used to because it's pretty long, but if you remember license keys, for example, for Windows, back at the days you had to type them in manually from CDs, but now when you buy some software, you almost never have to type in the license key manually. So I don't think that license key length matters. So this would be our assigned string that contains the customer's email address. So you could send this signed string or the license key along with the email address to your customer. And then in your application, you would need to verify the signature with your public key. So this would look like uh, this. So we have something like is verified and our signature is verified. Like this. So we use the same algorithm. We have the exact same data that we want to verify. So this would also be the email address of the customer. And then we have a key, which would be our public key. And this is the signature that we want to verify. And now if we do a console log of is verified, this is true. And now if, for example, you get the license key and the data doesn't match, it returns false. So not only does this allow you to, um, to provide offline license key checks by using the public and the private key, but this also allows you to pass additional data into your license key because we can add whatever we want uh, in here and sign this as long as we pass it along to our customer to enter this, uh, this signed data in, uh, in their application when they want to verify the license key. So this would be approach for offline license key validation um, using cryptographic signing. Um, and for RegExpress, yeah, we're going to look into how the server-side license key validation can look like.